When you've got your WordPress core files deleted, all that's left in your blog's installation folder should be the wp-content folder and the wp-config.php file. Once that's true, go ahead and download the latest version of WordPress from wordpress.org forward slash download. Click the download button and wait for the zipped file to download. When it's done, you should have a zipped folder that you can unzip and inside are all the new WordPress core files. But we have to make sure that we upload it correctly. Now, we're not just going to drag the whole folder in here because we need to restore the same file structure as was there before. So we're actually going to drag the contents and upload the contents of this entire folder into there. But before we do that, remember that we left the wp-content folder up there, so we don't want to upload that and overwrite it. To prevent overwriting it, I like to just delete that folder entirely so that I'm totally safe and I know that I won't overwrite my files. Once I've done that, then just select all the files and upload them into your blog's installation folder. This can take some time, maybe 10-15 minutes, so go get a drink. And when it's done, it should look pretty much the same as it did before.